Good morning, everyone. It's Jalani. The morning scripture came from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you thanks for another day of life that you have preserved for us as we ask each and every morning. And when we give you thanks, we give you thanks that you have given us this per it's maximum permissible time to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling because this is what you have commanded us to do and you are there by our side dear lord leading us in spirit and in truth by your holy spirit and by your word which you have left for us for instructions in righteousness so dear lord as you have promised us you said those who are yours you would never drive away you are the good shepherd who will keep us in thy bosom and as you have even said you would go for that one leaving the 99 because you treasure each and every soul that you have received so as you have received our souls dear lord that we commit ourselves to you i pray that our love for you never diminish and i pray that you will continue to hold us in your presence dear lord and cause us to abide in your will and in your protection because without you we know that we are nothing and we know that we can do nothing and without you we are we are drift away into destruction or we will drift away into destruction so i thank you for this knowledge i thank you for the understanding that you have given us through your spirit i pray that you continue to open each and every one of our understanding by your spirit dear lord let us not lean on our own understanding nor go after the, the counsel of the wisdom of this world but that we go uh, after and adhere to the wisdom that is found in you lord jesus christ so that we can be of one mind in you and that there be no division among the body so dear lord keep us humble in this thing keep us patient and allow us to bear long suffering because as we know, you have said, if you have gone through these things, we as your servant, who who are we? We should we 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 definitely are not greater than you. So we shall suffer these things also. But at the end of the day, you have done things and you have done it all to show that it is possible. And if we rely and abide in you, we also can overcome all things. So I thank you, Lord, for all things that you have given unto us. I pray that you help each and every soul going through their tests and trials and tribulation that we do not faint nor become weary nor give up but mount up with wings as eagles as you have said in your word walk and not be weary run and not faint by your spirit and as always that our children are grown up in the knowledge of who you are and in spirit and in truth that they when they are faced they shall not depart from you so lead us in your word this morning, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, we pray. Amen. Okay, so 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12 says, Now we have not received, no, sorry, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Amen. All right. So, look at testimony time. Over the past maybe few weeks, I have, there's a there's a scripture in, in Solomon, in, I think in Proverbs or Ecclesiastics. I think it might be Ecclesiastics. When it said, I, I went to, I went and I sought out, um, I went and learned like he learned foolishness. What I can't remember how it stated. What is like Solomon was saying, like he 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 came he came to know knowledge and he came to know foolishness also. Like he went and studied like the foolishness of the things of the world. If I can find it quickly, I will tell you. Oh yeah. Oh look. So it's um, Ecclesiastic chapter two verse twelve. Oh look at that. It's the same. <laughs> It said, and I turned myself behold to behold wisdom and madness and folly. For what can man do do that cometh after the king, even that which hath been already done? 
and I saw that wisdom ex excelleth folly as far as light excelleth darkness. Well, this must be because that is the scripture what's been coming to my head because as I said, for the past few weeks, I've went and I've, 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 I've went and, and learned folly. Not that I have, I was doing foolishness. I've, I was observing folly and learning folly and I see where the wisdom of God far exceeds it as it says as light is to darkness that's how it excels it and the wisdom of this world what they try to do sometimes is to twist in the wisdom of god and um then put in their own little twist on it so yeah and the thing is it always comes down to the love of god through jesus christ that is what clears up the understanding of what we ought to be learning and doing because even though some things sound right and if you put them into play they might work out for some objective if we look and see that that objective is not lined up with the will of god and the teachings of our lord jesus christ what he has shown us how to live or how he has shown us how to live then we know that is folly and madness right and sometimes the world would look at the wisdom of christ as folly because the, the, the wisdom of God is foolishness to those who believe not. It's, it's foolishness to the world, the wisdom of God, right? Nevertheless, we know the wisdom of God is true wisdom. But because the world cannot receive it, then it is um, viewed as folly and madness to them. But we as believers and, the, and who hold the knowledge of Christ through his word through and by his spirit, and I'll go on to that in a bit, those are the ones who know that um, the wisdom of God is true and anything of the world is madness, right? So, as the scripture talks here, and I said this is a good scripture because I, I, it's speaking to me this morning um, based on the last few weeks, right? I said, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. So, the thing is, when we are sincere in our pursuit with to um of our lord jesus christ right when we um ask of him to take us as a living sacrifice right and ask him to make us holy and acceptable unto him and ask us to keep in keep us in his bosom and to bless us with his holy spirit and with the knowledge and understanding of who he is when he gives us this thing then there is a change in us right that is when um it tells us that we, we repent right that is the first stage of the, the um the, the the change right we repent we turn away from our mortal um fleshly desires we seek lord we do his commandments we know that it, it, it says us for us to baptize be uh, baptized with the water baptized with the spirit right the spirit now is what is going to help us to persevere and to continue in the will of God throughout this life. However, as it says here, the world has its own spirit and God has his spirit, right? And the spirit of the world is the spirit of folly and the spirit of, 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 of um, to be honest, if you look deep into it, the spirit of the world is the spirit of Antichrist and the spirit of God is um, the spirit of Christ, right? If you look at it just as two um, ultimatums, right? So <coughs> if we don't have the spirit of God and when we, we, we don't rely on the spirit of God, that is when our knowledge, our wisdom, our understanding can, we, can, can go astray. <coughs> Sorry. What is this? But sorry, as I said though, the, the the promise of God of His Spirit is what is gonna always be that um that screen to screen everything that we receive, right? Because as I said, there is information, there's knowledge get chopped at us in every way, shape, and form, right? Even among the body, we get different doctrines. But the screen of the Holy Spirit is what is gonna sift through all the untruths, all the madness, all the folly, and that what comes out on the other side is always truth, right? But if we do not rely on that sieve, right, that sieve of the Holy Spirit to do the work, then we can now get folly mixed up 
are mixed in with our truth. But as I said, if anything that I said this morning makes sense, just remember that the, the Spirit of God is always going to confirm what is truth, right? And there is a spirit, there is a spirit of the world, and there is knowledge, there is knowledge of the world, which is stupid. I was just gonna say stupidness, but it's, it end up to be stupidness. It's folly and madness. But um, yeah, we we don't we don't rely on that one. As I said, I'll leave it at that this morning though. But I, I'm gonna have a, a good reasoning because, as I said, this has been, this this word this morning has spoken to me on a different level. Um, but um, any questions, any comments that you have, just send them into the word at eachreachone.org or comment in the comment section. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.